Hey, I'm Vicstad. And I'm Tiki. Welcome back to Let's Drink. Today we're doing a quickie. Oh yeah. Yeah, so basically we're just gonna do this one drink and tell you our thoughts. Yep, so. and we're starting with the Lining Kugels, a Lemon Haze IPA. Yes. And uh, let's just quick go uh, what they say about this. So it says, Lightning Kugel's Lemon Haze IPA is a deliciously balanced hazy IPA that brings together notes of juicy lemons with the citrusy bitterness of American and German hops. Enjoy our bright, citrusy, and refreshing Lemon Haze IPA all year long. And that's from the Lightning Kugel family. It sounds good. Lion and Kugel is very uh, personal to me because it's from my home state yes. and I've been drinking them for several years and I think they make great stuff. So let's see how this is. Yeah, and I've never had a Lion and Kugel. This was provided to me for free as a free sample when I bought wine at the liquor store last time. So this is not a product sponsored one. I just didn't pay for this. I have high hopes for it though. It sounds good. Like I don't really like beer, but it sounds like something that might intrigue me. I don't know if you'll like it though because of the IPA status of it. I guess I didn't see how many IBUs it has. But there was an IBA I liked before, right? Uh, yes. The Deschutes Fresh Squeezed? Yeah. Yeah. How many IBUs does this have? I Let's don't know. Ah, oh, where is it? It's not at the top. Ah! Union made. Hey. Go unions. Nobody gets paid enough. Truth. Does not say the IBUs. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. Let's, Let's just try it. <laughs> yeah, no, who cares about IBUs? Let's just drink. The Cheers. lemon, the, sorry, my God. <laughs> the Lining Kugels Lemon Haze IPA. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. I like it, but I'm a beer drinker. It's surprisingly refreshing though. Yes. Like it's very lightweight. It's kind of exactly what I was hoping for in a beverage right now. <laughs> it's, it's bubbly, it's lightweight. It gives you a little bit of lemon. Like that lemon really comes through. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very balanced and citrusy, like they say. Um, I can see this as a total summer drink, which I'm sure you got the sample because it's getting, well, closer to summer at the point of this video, at least. Uh, so I could totally see that. Yeah. Yeah, I would drink this in the summer. Go yeah. on a little vacation, go on, the, go on the lake or on the river or something and bring a pack of these. Have a good time. Yeah, you're just looking for something nice, light, and refreshing. I mean, how how strong is this again? It's f uh, just about, just under 5%. 4.9% to be specific. So pretty lightweight, but it's still not like, you know, 3.2, like some of those super light beers. Mm -hmm. But it's still honestly like quite refreshing. Me not being a huge beer drinker, that actually says a lot for it. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I really don't foresee myself going out and buying a 12 pack of this. But I, I can see my. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might buy a twelve pack. Yeah. But <laughs> but I might get like a four or a sixer and just let that sit in the fridge until I feel like I want a beer. For sure. Which is high again, high praise from me. I don't really like beer for the most part, so this is actually like definitely well worth the price I paid for it, and possibly even worth getting more of. Which you paid nothing. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> well worth the price, but it's not like it was wasted. Like you're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I'm moderately enjoying it. It's a pretty good time overall. Have we actually Our, described what it tastes like? I know I said not that it's, fully. Yeah. Um, I guess to kind of describe a little bit for, of what it tastes like, we were kind of talking about it, but it's very lemony. Um, it doesn't really have a ton of hoppy flavor, which is probably why they didn't mention the IBUs on it. Maybe, I don't know, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, it's not super hoppy like I would expect from a typical IPA, which in this case is really nice. It just makes it, like we've been saying, very refreshing. It's an easily sippable drink. Yeah, no, I'd agree with all of that. It primarily tastes like lemon. I feel like I might be getting a little bit of the hop, the hops at a back end. Yes. Like the hops take a back seat. Yeah, but they definitely like after you swallow it, the, the follow through with the flavor really, that's where it comes out. Yes. Like you, you're not forgetting you're drinking beer, but it's not unpleasant. Yeah. Yeah. The lemon kind of overtakes the hops to an extent that's very pleasing. Yeah. I don't know what else to say about it. It's, it's genuinely, it's good. Yeah. Anyways, that was the first cookie with Vic's dad and myself, Tiki. Yeah. Um, let's drink. We'll see you next time for another quickie. 
We hope you're prepared. <laughs> yep. Anyways, to that, cheers. Cheers. Do you want the rest of that? Uh, yes.